right, so here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Czech Republic's Yuri Prohaska. Never know what haircut he's going to be bringing. I kind of miss the big, long lettuce. I don't know. Yeah, I love the ponytail. But Yuri Prohaska, for a long time, was considered one of those guys that could have an impact in the UFC. It took him a while to get here. But once he got here, it was all systems go, and he made a beeline towards becoming the light heavyweight champion. He has all the skills needed to be at the top of the sport, and tonight he steps in the octagon once again, trying to get his hand raised. Prohaska first became the champion in June of 2022, then had a devastating shoulder injury, and a lot of fans worldwide wanting to see how he responds as he gets back on the proving ground tonight. Enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. With the undeniable DMX backdrop, enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with 4-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast. Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson steps inside the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yuri Denisa Prasaka. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. Now, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG, I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity. The greatest heavyweight fighter to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Prohaska gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with that. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, 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 oh
shots. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> To my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Front kick to the body by Pro Hazard. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Strong hook lands. Ooh, so now things are going to be That strike appears to have opened up a cup. And it's a, it'll be interesting to see how he approaches the fight going forward, knowing now that he's been damaged. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times... Oh, 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 and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Good block. Well, he rocked it. the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Great place for the Final second to round one. Pro eye is closing up. Who is next? So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Nice strike. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Nice strike from bottom position. Tyson's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a Just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. A beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. So Iron Mike Tyson's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. He might get a finish here. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards the corner, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Misses with the right. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on beat street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. 
Oh, nice kick. Keep the pressure on. You're doing good. 30 seconds to go in the round. Eats a jab there. Turn again. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Excellent grounded pound there by Tyson. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. Ten minutes in the books. Well, it's early, but that was one of the better rounds we have seen all year. Knockdowns on both sides. Mixed martial arts, folks. Mixed martial arts is the most beautiful form of violence that you will ever see. And these two men put it on full display in that round. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Tyson gets back up here. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 59 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Yuri Denisa Bushaka. Everything about this guy is watchable, right? Even after the fact, a big knockout for Yuri Prohaska here tonight, and this dude's just getting started, champ. He's so fun. I mean, everything about Yuri kind of draws you in from his personality to his fighting style.